First up today, brain tumors in children are on the rise. We talk with Dr. Imad Salman of Lee Memorial Health System about pediatric cancer and what's being used to fight it. Children get cancer just like adults. Um, usually when the child gets cancer, the most common cancer that children get is leukemia. And that happens in the first five years of life. That's where leukemia is most prevalent. Um, over the last few years, we've also, also seen a rise in brain tumors in children. Most of it, we believe, is genetic, which means you're either born with the disease or you have a predisposition. Uh, unlike adult cancers, where most of those cancers are probably in, um, environmental, uh, you've lived uh, for several years, you've been exposed to the elements, and they've led to the cancer. So with children, prevention is not as huge an issue because you probably cannot prevent most of the um, childhood cancers. However, we still um, dwell into prevention to try to prevent adult cancers, especially with smoking and that anti-smoking. That's one of the biggest areas that we work on. And uh, living in Florida, obviously, skin cancer is another issue. Um, exposure starts very early in life, so we make sure that we start the education process really early in life to prevent melanomas. We ask if the challenges of treating pediatric cancer are different from those in adults. We face the same issues as in adults. Um, the approach to cancer treatment includes surgery as one possibility, radiation therapy, chemotherapy. Um, depending on the type of disease, um, obviously one or more options may be available. Um, leukemia, for example, is some, one of the tumors that we call a liquid tumor as compared to other tumors that are solid tumors, which means they spread easily in leukemia. And surgery is not an option because you can't remove it. It's in your blood, so it's already spread. So our choices for treatment are something that's going to go through the whole system, which would mean chemotherapy. The treatment for leukemia is probably one of our greatest successes in pediatric cancer. In fact, it's probably one of the greatest successes as far as research is concerned in any field in medicine today. Um, back in 1960, um, the su survival for leukemia was probably less than 10%. Most of the children died within the first month or two of diagnosis. As of this year, the survival for leukemia is somewhere around 85%. And the treatment is almost exclusively chemotherapy, with a few exceptions where radiation may be necessary, and most recently, for patients who relapse, we're still able to salvage them and save them with bone marrow transplant. We asked Dr. Salman about bone marrow transplants and how successful they are, and about other advances. Bone marrow transplant has really um, improved. It's changed the way we do things. Um, within my lifetime, bone marrow transplant has completely transformed. Um, awareness is greater. Um, more research is available. And most recently, with the advent of cord blood transplant, um, we've been able to have more patients to, um, transplanted because cord blood is readily available in some cases. Um, I've seen several kids who have survived cancer, and it really is very gratifying when you see them several years down the road. Um, 14 years ago, when I first started here, there was a young girl at the time, she was, I think, about four or five when she was diagnosed with leukemia. And she went into remission pretty far early into treatment and did well, finished her therapy, and we thought she was out of the woods and everything was fine. Unfortunately, she relapsed a few years later and ended up requiring a bone marrow transplant from a sibling who was a match. She's now in college and she is 20, she's out of the home, and she looks wonderful. Every time we see her, it makes us want to do this again and again and again.